Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today we're gonna be talking about this old saying that the grandmothers used to say, which is never let your man leave home hungry or horny because there's always gonna be a whore in the street with a sandwich, okay? So I, I like to get off into this because I want to give you a little um, background. A lot of times I always like to talk about different old wives tales, um, different wisdom that our elderly um, people try to impart on us for whatever reason. Um, and sometimes we say, well, yeah, grandma has some good wisdom. But then sometimes we'll say, oh, well, grandma, she... Um, she basically enabled grandpa and she put him in a situation to allow him to be able to do certain things. So from a, you know, I always like to hear different perspectives. I always like to um, listen to different influencers. I'm always reading something. I'm always just trying to be able to get wisdom. And then at the same time, once I get this wisdom, I form my own opinion about it. So we're going to get off into this live. Last night, I had finally picked up my book, Live Free. I've been reading this book. Well, it's been actually a month since I picked this book up. But y'all, last night when I opened up the pages to this book, it um, it started talking about relationships and monogamy. Now, let me just say this here. This book is about having expectations. I'm going to put it up there. This book is about having expectations about life about certain expectations that we put on other people, about how we try to get other people to make us happy when there's certain things that we should be doing, certain things we're supposed to um, be doing for ourselves when it comes down to happiness and other people can contribute to the happiness. But the thing is, they're not solely responsible for making us happy. So anyway, thank you again, Jason Givens. Jason is my classmate and he actually says, Sharonda, I think with all of the different things that you're teaching right now, I think this book, would definitely be an asset to your teaching. So I picked up the book, I started reading it, and it has not disappointed. So let me talk about this. When I was reading this book last night, I have never had something given to me so clear to where it just made so much sense, okay? When we think about monogamy and we think about relationships, um, a lot of times people think that monogamy is dead in so many words. But let me just say this, what monogamy is and isn't. A lot of people think that monogamy, uh, that marriage has to be monogamous, okay? Monogamy is only a sexual agreement between two people. You can be married and be monogamous. You can be a uh, girlfriend and boyfriend and be monogamous. You can actually be friends and decide to be monogamous and have a sexual relationship. Just with, in other words, I'm not in a relationship with you. I'm not your girlfriend. You're not my boyfriend. But when it comes down to us having sex, we gonna come to each other for that. We're not gonna go other places looking for that. Me and you have an agreement to where we gonna only come to each other for sex. Okay? You have girlfriend and boyfriend, people that are not married, who have decided to become exclusive and say we gonna only come to each other for sex husband and wife is this is more common amongst marriage even though it's not practiced a lot in marriage but a lot of times the agreement is me and you are married we're gonna only come to each other for sex okay even during this period of time when my husband and i was separated we understood it was a conversation that we had that we're not gonna go deal with other people when it comes to we got what we got going on but when it come down to sex, we only going to deal with each other. So that means that I was going to my house fucking on a regular basis because I understand my husband's sexual appetite. So with that being said, with that being said, imagine if we replace sex with food. And the only way for my husband, okay, in other words, the only way I eat is if my husband feed me. The only way that he eats is if I feed him, right? We're going to remove sex and say, we're going to deal with food. We, we're paralleling it, okay? The only way 
that you eat is if I feed you. The only way it, that I eat is if you feed me. This is equivalent to sex. The only way that I have sex is if I get it from you. The only way you have sex is if you get it from me. But what happens when, and we're not going we we to use days because I don't really like to use days when it comes to sex because I think on average, when I'm dealing with couples, I think couples having sex on the average three to five times a week. That would be considered average, three to five times a week. But we're going to use increments of weeks, okay? Because I don't think it's the days that, that brings problems to the relationship. I think when it turns into weeks and weeks and weeks. So imagine on week one, you don't feed me and I don't feed you. Now I'm hungry by now. A, a week of not eating, getting bird fed or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm hungry by week one. Oh, here go the second week coming along. Now, keep in mind, in order for me to eat, you got to feed me. In order for you to eat, I got to feed you. And here go week two rolling around, and I ain't fed you, and you ain't fed me. Now, y'all know, two weeks, I'm, I'm hungry. I am starving, right? Here go week three rolling around. You still ain't fed me, and I ain't fed you either. But at this point, my, my back... Talking to my, my stomach, talking to my back at this point. I am just starving. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm cranky. I'm irritable. Everything's starting to look good to me. Even the shit that ain't good for me is looking good to me because I am starving. So here you go. Here, 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 here go. Here go woman or man number one. And they come through and they say, oh, baby, I got some hot, fresh Louisiana catfish. With some jambalaya, and baby, it's seasoned with slap your mama. Now, I'm sitting over here. I ain't the eight and three weeks because you ain't fed me, and I ain't fed you. And I'm, I'm, I'm craving food, a.k.a. sex. I'm craving this because not only do I have a desire for it, I have a need for it because I'm hungry. I'm starving. But the thing is, I know that I agree. To only eat from you. I'm only supposed to let you feed me, but you're not feeding me. So this person here, I got to tell them, oh, your catfish looks some good, baby. And that jambalaya, I know it's good because you got it seasoned with slap your mama. But, but I got to pass this meal up because I only agreed to eat from my wife. Even though she ain't feeding me, I only agreed to eat from her. Right? Time go along. We on week three. Now we heading into week four, right? And here go Mama Cita. She coming up with, oh, Papi, 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 Papi. I got me some tacos. And I want to feed you some tacos, Papi. And Papi like, shh, them tacos show sure look good. I know you got them seasoned down with them onions and bell peppers and all of that good taco sauce you got. But I only agreed to eat from my wife. Even though my wife is not feeding me. Even though my husband is not feeding me. We have a, a we have an agreement of monogamy. And we agree to feed each other, but at this point in our relationship, I'm being starved and she being starved and we not feeding each other, but I got to pass up this good taco Tuesday. Got to pass it up. Oh, here go the here here go the the other woman. She talking about I ain't got no catfish and I ain't got no tacos, but I got this little can of soup you can have it and warm it up. Come on over here and get it. You ain't gotta stay long. Just come on over here and get it, right? Mhm. Mm and he like, yeah. Let me tell you something. I ain't eating so long. Even that can of soup look good to me. Even that can of Campbell's soup look good to me because I ain't eating so long. But you know what? I agreed to only eat from my wife. I agreed to only eat from my husband. Even though I'm being deprived sexually, we had an agreement of monogamy. So I'm gonna have to pass, I'm gonna have to pass that meal up too. Now we're down to the oodles and noodles. Lil Ratchet Pack. She coming through, I ain't got nothing, to, I ain't got nothing to offer. Nothing. 
but but a good time. Lil Ratchet Pack coming through. Uh, like people say, uh, the 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 trash, the the woman that done been around the block a couple of times, the woman who you be so scared because you don't even know if she got something, or this man that they got the reputation of being a whore that slept with so many women, you don't know what he carrying or what he got. But guess what? He coming through with it. And by this time, you on week six. And you just starving. And you don't know what to do with yourself. And guess what? You starving so much to even this damn ratchet pack is starting to look like this damn catfish meal over here to you. To the point where you say, you know what? Fuck it. Go ahead and throw that shit up in the microwave. Let me eat. This is what you do not want monogamy to look like especially when you have both agreed to feed each other sexually. You you don't want, because let me tell you something. When, when a man fool, he will pass up his favorite meal if he fool. Not unless he just doggish and greedy. But if he fool and he content and he getting everything he need, he'll, he'll, pass, he'll pass all this up. Because he, he content, he fool, he getting what he need. So it don't matter how many whores in the streets with sandwiches, if you making sure that he full and you making sure that, that nut sack empty, a lot of times he'll pass all of this up, okay? So, Devon Franklin, your analogy in this book was awesome to the point where it allowed me to be able to put this analogy together in real life for my people on Facebook and Instagram and all of the people who's going to actually watch this video. Let me tell you something. This morning I woke up. I packed lunch, I emptied the nut sack, and my husband went on off to work, okay? I'm saying all that to say this here. When, you wife, when you're a wife, you have a certain obligation, a certain responsibility, especially when you're a wife that's monogamous, okay? When you're a wife that's monogamous, you have a certain obligation, a certain responsibility because your husband is dependent on you in order to eat. In other words, he's only eating from you, meaning sexually. He only getting sex from you. So you have an obligation to make sure that you are available. I will tell people in the heartbeat, in 23 years, I have never turned my husband down for sex. I don't care if we ain't talking. I don't care if we mad. I don't care what it is. If he want pussy, it's available to him. Okay? He ain't got to keep asking for what's his. He don't. He don't have to. So with that being said, to my people who are married, and you know, a lot of times y'all talk about, well, I ain't doing it. Well, don't, baby. Don't. I'm just trying to impart some wisdom on you. That's all. But you ain't got to. You ain't got to. You see all this here? They got people waiting. Sitting right there waiting for you not to feed them. And they got all kind of different options. From the from the top of the line to the, to the bottom of the barrel. It's right there. Okay? All right. So, before I end this video, let me talk about our new product. And a lot of times y'all saying this ain't nothing new, but the thing is kangaroo has a new formula. The new kangaroo formula is called kangaroo Venus. Now, some of you all have jobs that require you to be very, um, you, you can't be distracted. You know, you, you, in other words, you can't be walking around at work all day and, and, you, and you pussy throbbing and jumping and cutting up and stuff. So I have opted to do the one day pill. So for those of y'all who are just trying to turn up for one night and one night only, Make sure you ask for the pink pill, the one-day pill. But if you are okay with doing the full three days, make sure you get the purple pill because it is a three-day pill, okay? So one just stays in your system a little longer than the other, but we have both options available, and this is the kangaroo Venus pill. So we got the kangaroo Venus, and then we got the kangaroo Venus 3000. Kangaroo has a brand new formula. I just had someone to send me a message and she was talking about all these sheets that got soaked up and how this pill took her fast and she wasn't expecting it to do all that it did. And let me tell you, it's Friday. Yes, I'm back at home. And yes, when I leave here today, I will be bringing a kangaroo Venus pill home with me because they just came in. I have not tried the new formula, but you better believe I'm going to try the new formula this weekend and I'm going to let you know how it worked out. Okay. All right. Lastly, I am wearing a shirt called Skin Tone. And Skin Tone is a clothing line by a young female entrepreneur by the name of Brown. I will be tagging her in this. Um, basically, this t-shirt 
represents ending colorism. And that is when we start to compare each other and say, oh, well, you light skin, you dark skinned. I feel like I'm better. Or I feel like I'm not pretty. Or I feel like my brown skin is better than your light skin because your ancestors got tapped by the master and all this, that, the other. Basically, this t-shirt represents all of us being fearfully and wonderfully made. And all of us just accepting our skin tone and complexion for what it is. She has a raffle going on right now. Um, so basically, if you purchase a t-shirt from her, you'll get entered into a raffle to win $500. And again, this is a young female entrepreneur by the name of Brown. And I'm actually wearing her shirt called Skin Tone. Okay? So, I hope this video uh, blessed y'all at hearts this weekend. What, what this Friday for this weekend. A lot of y'all catch up on the videos on Saturdays and because I get a lot of email notifications. So, again, make sure you uh, feed your man. Make sure that he don't leave home hungry or horny. Like my mama said, there's always going to be a whore in the streets with a sandwich, okay? So, you make sure that you do what you're supposed to do on your end. See, let me tell you something. It's one thing when a man go out there and do what he do and you did everything you was supposed to do, it's another when he go out there and do what he do and you ain't did what you was supposed to do. See, I, I, can, I sleep well at night because I know I do what I'm supposed to do, okay? I know when when I, when I it, when it come down to my house, ain't nothing lacking in no area, okay? I ain't saying that I'm perfect, but I'm saying that I'm making sure I'm covering all bases. And the one thing you ain't got to worry about is an empty nut sack and a full stomach because Sharonda Parker gonna make sure that's handled at all costs okay so you all be blessed you all enjoy your weekend y'all come see me here at the ppg store i am working this morning and come try out the new kangaroo pill yes 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 come try it out we got it in stock y'all be blessed